Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to a brand new video. Today we're going to play Crooked Paths from Seven Silhouette. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Without further ado, let's jump into the description. A standalone chamber, heavily inspired by an old map of mine. There are different routes or paths you can take to get to the exit. However, they're all a variation of the same solution, creating optimal routes and less optimal routes. So here's the tier list. Platinum, 19 portals. Gold, 20. Silver, 20 to 23. Bronze, 24 or higher. It's going to be bronze. I'm telling you now. Feel free to use quick saves, no clip to reset. Also, it's possible to re with much less portals if you have a proficient if you are a proficient cube tosser, I sometimes forget to account for that in map making. Derp. Uh, okay, so a more standard solution is now available though. No cube tossing is required. All right, so as always with seven silhouette maps, um, normal rules don't always apply because normal rules don't apply because nine times out of ten we are going with much more quirkier solutions and um, we need to perform much more quirkier things so um, whereas normally um, I would be quite mindful of doing certain actions I'm not today just so you know just so you know okay Funnel, laser, gotcha, gotcha. That's up. Uh, it's interesting that your um, fizzler model as well is like for the is the absolute fizzlers. I find that quite interesting. You know what the absolute fizzlers are? They are the um, fizzlers used in the on-off con. Let me start again. On the on-off concept maps. All right. So, like I say, I am not going for no less least portal strats here. Just so you're all aware. I get, need to get the cube up. So that's doing that. We need to do moon before we do that, though. We also have things and stuff over here. and stuff and stuff and things can't hit f ceiling buttons say this is an absolutely fantastic start please we have some nice ambience set real quickly I I wonder I 
Mm, no. I wonder if there's a way I could use the funnel to get through into there. But, I don't know, the funnel didn't seem to push me... I don't know why the funnel didn't push me high enough. Alright, well... see that from there, but it doesn't help. I can't see it from here. Because that's all behind glass. Okay, I'm here with a funnel, and I can bash my head on there, because that's going to bootstrap. That's what I need to do first, I believe. But I don't really see any way to do that at the minute. So I kind of know what to do. But at the same time, don't. That makes sense. So do that, that loop and that, and then I can go up to there. And then I can do things and stuff with that. Uh, but I don't know how I can get any sort of momentum going. So... It's the thing I did. Don't know why I did it. I am completely clueless. As to... Unless we're doing this.
but... Why didn't that... Oh, because that one needs to be... So I need the cube first. Do need the cube first. So what I'm doing there, for anybody that doesn't know, is a little tick. Something that um, speedrunners use. And in uh, pit flings, I didn't know you could do it on vertical surfaces. But yeah, in pit flings, you can actually get up to the top without um, having to do flings. You Basically, as you're going through the portal, the minute you go through the portal, you refire your portal, and if you do it at the right time, you kind of like give yourself a bit of a momentum boost. So, yeah, that's what I was doing there for anybody that was interested. Normally, you do it on um, when you're going through here, you would shoot on a portal on the side. So, I didn't know you could do it on a vertical surface as well, but I guess it's the same sort of principle. Um, but I have no idea what I'm meant to be doing here. I mean... Oh, you dummy. Okay. Right. Fine. Now I feel dumb. So, through here. It's been like 15 minutes almost dicking around. Oh, shit. Alright, I just did the wrong pull. Sorry, my pipe mouth is coming out. Alright, I want to put this straight. Oh, actually... Let's go back a step. To... here. Alright, so that one's alright. Okay. That's what I wanted to achieve. So let me see if I can do this again. Oh, not quite enough momentum. All right, well. Does that do anything else? I don't think it does, does it? No. Alright, so I will I will do this. Come on, knock. Ah, 
Ah. Like I said at the start, anybody else's map? I would definitely say not intended, but it's a seven silhouette map, man. There we go. Right. I am saving. I am saving. Excellent. So, um, now we can go up to the top, right? This cube isn't needed here anymore. Does auto respawn. Mm -hmm. So why do I need that? I'm not sure that I do. That feels so cheaty. I'm not going to lie. But it's done what I wanted it to do. I was surprised you can even, like, grab the cube at that sort of distance. I thought I'd let go of it by there, but... Then, all I'm going to do is... That. Alright, so I know that the description said multiple, but I didn't use that. Uh, I didn't use the other button and that up there either. I suppose that's the easier way to get the cube into there, possibly. But... Yeah, I don't know. I just have the feeling that this was broken, or I broke it on <laughs> magnitude. Maybe just by using that... Um, um, maybe by using like the portal momentum trick. I don't know. But like I said, 7 Silhouette Map, I am going to take it. Guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe down below. If you've got any matches you'd like to play, please leave them in the comments or head over to my Google Form. My link to that is in the description. But until next time, I've been Ock, you've been awesome. See ya.